Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I thought we'd make a Mullein tincture that can be used as an expectorant and to help clear up chest congestion. Mullein is a really common medicinal herb that a lot of people learn about when they first get into foraging, and there are a lot of different ways that you can use it, but my main preferred method is in tincture form. The tincture can be made using the leaves and flowers, or you can use the leaves only, or the flowers only. It's best to combine the flowers with the leaves, however, this year I wasn't able to find any Mullein flower spikes that weren't dead. So I was only able to use the leaves. The leaves that you see here are from a first year rosette and were in really good condition. Now whenever you're making your mullein tincture, it's important that you use fresh mullein as its effect seems to be lessened just a little bit whenever you use dry mullein, at least in my personal experience. If you're gathering flowers and leaves and are able to find a nice looking plant, you should only need one plant to make anywhere from three to eight bottles of tincture, depending on the size of your tincture bottles. This plant is absolutely huge and its leaves especially take up a lot of space within the bottles. After getting the plant home and then washing and drying it, you want to make sure that you remove any bad spots from the leaves and go ahead and remove individual flowers that are damaged as well if you have the flowers. From this point, you want to go ahead and get yourself a clean mason jar with the lid. I really like to use the the wide mouth jars as I find them easier to work with and get my hands into. However, any jar with a good seal will work. At this point, you can go ahead and decide whether you want to macerate or tear up the leaves and flowers, which will help aid the extraction process, or you can leave them whole and save yourself a little bit of time. It won't really matter which way you do it. I like to macerate or tear up the leaves and flowers if I have them, because I find it to make the extraction process a lot faster with mullein. Some plants, I haven't noticed a difference, but with this plant, I do, so I thought I would mention it. Another thing that I feel is worth mentioning is that if you want to follow an herb to menstruum ratio that is commonly used for mullein tincture, it would be a one part herb to two parts menstruum. And for this tincture, I'm actually doing more of a one to one ratio, though it's still not exact. And that's just because fluid ounces and net weight ounces are two completely different systems of measurements. So I like to use parts based on cup to approximate the ratio. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to macerate these leaves and then fill up this jar to the approximate one cup mark with fresh mullein leaf and then pack it very, very tightly, making sure that I have approximately one cup of herb in there. At this point, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your menstruum, in this case, vodka or any unflavored alcohol that is 40% or higher will work as a menstruum. And then you want to take that and then cover the herb entirely with alcohol. We want to make sure that there is enough in the jar to cover the herb so it doesn't mold while the extraction process is happening. After you have your herb covered, go ahead and put the lid on it and give it a good shake. Then pack it back down again, making sure that the herb is completely covered. At this point, all we need to do is label it and put it into a dark spot for four to eight weeks, giving it a shake about once a day. After that time frame, you can strain and bottle into tincture jars and you are all set. This is a really, really good herbal medicine for cold and flu season when congestion hits a high, and it's one that I frequently use in the winter. Number four is common mullein or verbascum thaspis. This common roadside plant is very popular in Europe for an expectorant or to relieve coughs and congestion. With its large fuzzy leaves and tall spikes of yellow flowers, it sticks out very well as the plant can get quite tall. Mullein has a long history of use going back thousands of years in Europe and in the Americas. Nowadays, it's gaining quite a reputation again for its immune boosting properties and its effectiveness at relieving chest congestion. The plant is high in mucilage, which is responsible for soothing mucous membranes in the mouth and the throat, and the plant is also a bronchodilator, meaning it opens up the passageways to allow for better breathing, which is helpful for those with asthma and or bronchitis. It boasts a variety of other uses for things like ear aches and ear infections to bladder and kidney infections, and even to expelling worms and humans and livestock. At one point in time, the leaves and flowers were combined with red clovers for smoking to help clear the lungs, and the leaves are still smoked today for this purpose. Also, those really large leaves make excellent toilet paper that is really so I soft. thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a little bit of something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.